the Red Sox added some power. They already have some power. So this is going to be a two-part. The first one is over under on home runs. Will J.D. Martinez hit over or under 34 and a half home runs this year? I have 45. 45 again like last oh. year. He hit 45 last year. He was in, a, in 119 games, okay? If he stays healthy this year, yeah, there's no reason why he can't hit 45 again. So I'm going over, and look at he had the best slugging percentage in baseball last year. I mean, he was unqualified for that, you know, the slugging percentage title. Um, but he had a better slugging percentage than Stanton last year. So, I mean, look at this guy's at Fenway Park. Fenway Park we're talking about. He's playing his home games at Fenway. And if he can stay healthy the whole year, and I think there's a good thing that he's going to be DH, in a, you know, most of the year. We'll see how much he gets in the outfield. He really wants to play some outfield. But I think that will make him stay healthier. And he's going to play more than 119 games this year. And I don't, I don't see a reason why he can't hit, you know, another 40-something home runs this year. I really don't. Am I being way too optimistic? Should I start bashing them? I, I don't know because um, I, I initially had the line lower. And then uh, yeah, I know our did. editor was telling me to bump, bump it up. And so I'm like, <laughs> oh, man, am I be kind of a J.D. Martinez hater, or maybe I, I guess I'll go under. I just gotta go like 33. Like yeah. I think he's gonna be very good. Um, I maybe not 45 home runs good, but I maybe a bit more tepid expe- expectations for me. And so, well, as, as so Jim that's Buchanan, JD Martinez. As Jim Buchanan said, Jim Buchanan told him if he doesn't hit a bunch of home runs, the fans are gonna boo him. Joe Kelly is big Jim Buchanan, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> for those who who did not see that clip of Joe Kelly dressed up as a weird reporter. So we got J.D. Martinez down. Another, I think this will be another really interesting factor for the Red Sox season. Over under twenty four and a half home runs for Hanley Ramirez. I'm going to go under, but I don't think that it's going to be too far under that. Like I think he's going to have a good year. I just don't see him. I mean, there's, you know, he's he's come back on the Tom Brady, you know, whatever, the regiment or whatever you call it. I don't know all you Patriots people that cover that team, what it's called. But um, he's using his bands and everything. And he does look like he's in good shape and he looks motivated. But there's also the, the playing time factor. And you look at it in general, you know, he's going to – J.D. Martinez is the D.H., and, you know, Mitch Moreland is going to play plenty of first base this year against right-handed pitching. So is he going to have enough plate appearances to, to hit that many? Um, you know, I think he can have a very good year. I think he can produce. I mean, he's healthier now that he had that sh- shoulder surgery. But, yeah, I mean, I, I look at him as, as a candidate to have a bounce-back season, but I don't think he's going to hit over that total. Okay. 30 dingers for Hanley. I don't know how they're coming. I don't know you know, how much will play a DH at first base. He thinks this is my blind optimism that this is the year of Hanley. And by the year of Hanley, I mean he plays in like 110, 120 games. So it's Mitch Moreland gets some time there. But I think he gets like a nice hot streak in like July, August, where he's like, oh, man, like Hanley's on a tear. You know, it could happen. I mean, Alex likes him a lot. I mean, he's already like, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him in the number three, three hole tomorrow. So, I mean, we'll see. You could be right. 